Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video tutorial. This will be bot number 79 from Dubious Positions and how to attack them. Uh, this would be a Cross Palace Cannon bot and without further ado, let us begin. Cross Palace Cannon and Black Counter with the left central cannon is in this situation. Uh, this is one of the long term, uh, one of the long time favorites of aggressive uh, other <coughs> other variations include H eight plus seven, uh, R nine plus one, etc. So H two plus good. The rank chariot will move here to attack the cannon and also provide support for red's impending attack on red central foul. Like red will usually counter in this manner. And I goes to four. This was five. And black goes uh, ahead to attack the central pawn as he was too eager to attack. But this is done at the expense of underdevelopment of the right flank. And um, black would have to suffer a lot. This would be the dubious move for this bot. So, uh, better move would have, should have been to play h2 plus 3. Red continued with h8 plus 7, with r4 plus 5, or p5 plus 1, and black would still have a very playable game. And because black had advanced the cannon, yes, he was too eager for the pawn, red would now play c r2 equals to 8. Uh, and this is in the and this would be the position of discussion for this spot. The situation would become very complicated very rapidly. The two main variations that were discussed, the first would be C2 equals to 5, and the second would be R uh, C2 plus 3. Now let us go to variation A, C2 equals to 5. Red uh, goes, captures the central pawn as, uh, as planned. H3 plus 5, a check. And red can only make this move if he had any elephant, for example. Uh, the situation, but um, much better as on a whole. Like moves the horse, otherwise red will gain material. Now red will try to dislodge this cannon. And this move was played out of desperation. If he had played R1 equals to 2 to trade material, Red would be more than happy. And after trading material, Red would play R5 equals to 6 to capture the chariot. Now, if the chariot, even if the chariot moved to R, Red would still gain a chariot and uh, probably win the game. Now one equals to two. It's not good. And because Black had made this move, Red will now make use of his pawn rank and attack with this uh, method. This attack. Now this is a very concise and powerful move. The cannon will be threatening the chariot. Now, one might wonder: Would H8 plus seven be a better idea? After all, the horse would now get development and threaten to capture. The but the answer would be no because black would play, red would play, uh, play sorry black would play c5 equals to 9 and red would dis deliver a discovered check the cannon will now be checking the black king this material black tries to crawl his way back black would still be able to deal with the enemy's aggressions because his pieces are developed and he uh, much better than reds. H8 plus 7 would not be as powerful, no nonsense as C8 plus 1. C8 plus 1, like is forced to lose a piece, check. Five for defense. 
red would then play c red would then play c5 equals to 7 c5 equals to 7 red would now threaten to capture the horse and more importantly there's always let's say black move the horse forever red will now play c5 equals to 7 again and trap the black chariot as can be seen uh, black will be all sorts of trouble and red will probably win the game so this will be the end of variation A. Now in variation B, C to capture this horse. So black would have wasted one move, moving the cannon here and then uh, sacrificing it for the black red horse. Uh, of course, black was not willing to do so, but this would perhaps be a better move. Capture the cannon as it was checked. And black will play h2 plus 3. Now, if h2 plus 1 were played, now also still claim the initiative, preparing to play c9 plus 4 as needed. So red immediately attacks the horse and black changes formation. Now, if he chose to play p5 plus 1, the idea behind p5 plus 1 was to allow for the horse to be linked at the same bar. Black good to go. But then there's always the cannon over here, which is uh, much more powerful. The, the horse has no good intersections to move. So black could lose material and red would win. I see 5 equals to 6. Defense. And now it will be Red's turn to double down on his attack. H5, C5. And after trading material, uh, Red would have more pawns and enjoy a tremendous advantage. So, let us review this board from the Eyes of Black. Last Palace Cannon, Left Central Cannon. Good. Black attacks the central file as planned, but this would be the dubious move. Variation A. <coughs> Red will attack, and this will be the position of discussion. In variation A, C2 equals to 5. Red goes as planned, capturing the central pawn. And after trading material, A, C6 equals to 5. Now, Red would threaten this chariot. R4 plus 5 was played. If R1 plus 2, uh, black, black would lose the chariot. This one, a beautiful walk. After trading material, red will now be prepared to play C5 equals to 7. Instead of capturing the central pawn, black captures uh, trades for the horse, and black develops both uh, pieces nicely. Now, if he chose to play c9 plus one, there is always c equals to nine. Black switches formation. If p5 plus one, the horse would cannot would not have any good moves. For example, if he with h5 plus 7, black will lose the horse because it does not have any good place to move. And at this point in time, red would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pawns versus black 3 pawns. Enjoy this short video. If you like the work that I've been doing, please do subscribe to my channel.